I've already reviewed the new Chevy Equinox. After a day at GM's press event, it seems a serious rival to CRV and RAV4. I just need more time to be sure. So to really shake the Equinox down, I'm subjecting it to the toughest test, a 10 day family vacation in California. I'm shooting this with my little home video camera, so don't expect great photography, okay? Landing in San Francisco, the first test is trunk space. Work, work. My daughter should pack lighter, but luggage for four fits easily. Large strut covers cut into room a bit. This top of the line LTZ model has front drive, all wheel drive is optional. Our first stop is the Santa Cruz boardwalk, an exciting place uh, to meet up with relatives. Oh, yeah. My loving brother, yeah. Sean, doesn't this ride make you sick? Yeah, it does. What a nice brother. Huh? Yeah. I'm paying him a dollar. Not quite as thrilling as rides are the Equinox doors. So you know how you always hit your ankles down on the bottom here? Yes. This design is pushed in, so you won't do that. The covered sill keeps your pants leg clean too. Check this out. Okay, adjust the hatch back to where you like it. Okay, now push and hold that button for about five seconds. And now, whenever the automatic door opens, it'll open to that level. It worked. After fun and delicious, healthy California cuisine, surprise, friends call to meet us for pizza on some hard to find beach. No nav system. We hope OnStar's turn by turn direction service works. What's the estate, sir? We're trying to get to Capitola Beach in California. Audio prompts. Or Tilla Drive becomes Cliff Drive. And visual cues here deliver us to our friends really great pie <laughs> thanks and capitola beach very cool highly recommended next stop salinas the salad bowl of america we're crashing with family they're into toyotas but interested in a chevy test drive oh nice i like it how are the seats more comfortable than my highlander <laughs> a three for a shot cute cousins get a ride my boy gets some exercise and this shows the seat adjusts for legroom or cargo reclines too i highly recommend monterey bay aquarium if you're in the area the seahorse exhibit is very cool and it just wouldn't be a vacation without bargain hunting ready to go outlet mall shopping yeah very exciting for me oh i know and as you can tell, very <laughs> exciting for the boy. Too much time in the car, huh? Despite birthday presents, a shopping spree, and a huge packed lunch. Thanks for lunch and dinner, you guys. <laughs> the trunk is holding up. Hey, lady, out of the car. No, <laughs> I'm going with you. We're off to Yosemite. We could use one of these. We've come to depend on this. After 300 miles, the personality of the Equinox is clear, gripes first. Well, the pillar blocks my view quite a bit when I look over my shoulder. Okay, what do you like? Well, it handles nicely on these curvy roads. I like the lighting in here, too. Mood lighting at night. Ooh, very romantic. That's not getting me anywhere, is it? <laughs> nice try. We finally arrive at Majestic Yosemite. Here's our high-end accommodations, complete with AC, luxury touches, and bear-proof storage. Feel like I'm at the Ritz. The pool's great, complete with fish. From our tent cabin, I can use remote start to begin cooling down the interior of the Equinox, or scare away bears. Equinox stays parked while we use this and these to get around. One horsepower? And 264 for the V6. Chevy crows that the 182 horse four cylinder I was hoping to test gets 32 miles per gallon on the highway. At 70 miles per hour, the six exceeds the EPA rating of 25, and it's much faster than these guys. The Chevy is definitely more useful than Ace that I'm riding here. Besides, I wouldn't want to do the TPE trunk test on a horse. It's four hours to San Francisco, and while garbage is stacking up, everyone's been comfortable. Equinox is pretty quiet. You know, the other thing I like is having XM radio, because then we can listen to Major League Baseball. Too bad our team lost. 
No doubt there are plenty of spaces for snacks and drinks. These are especially good almonds that taste like Cocoa Puffs. Bluetooth for phones and iPod integration is standard with LTZ. Kids have epic leg room. No switch for the dome light though, and the middle seating position is a little lumpy. Okay, we were just in Groveland and we stopped at this sandwich shop that was also a video store. And we were like, eh, not sure about it. These are fantastic sandwiches. So we highly recommend it. It's by the grocery store in town. It's very good. Very, very good. Once in chilly San Francisco, I need to change from shorts to jeans. I know I put them here somewhere. Uh, there's my wife's jacket. Oh, here they are. The Chevy handles steep hills with ease. And how are those brakes? Excellent. They break. The brakes are very good. I like that in a brake. Equinox is larger than CRV and RAV4 on the outside, but this, standard on LTZ, helps you squeeze into small spots. OnStar suggests great restaurants. We especially like this place. As the day winds down, you can see Mariko was right. Ice blue lighting is very upscale. All right, time for me to sign off and actually go on vacation. In 10 days, the family has come to enjoy the comfortable, capable, and stylish Equinox. Pretty awesome. We all highly suggest a test drive. A final note, we drove nearly 900 miles in the Equinox and the overall MPG came to 21 miles to the gallon. This car was brand new, so that can only improve as the engine breaks in. Equinox was very quiet and comfortable during the trip and a number of people complimented the styling inside and out. Check out the muffler and how it matches the faux skid plate. Some behind the scenes stuff, Car to car shots were done when coming back from the outlet mall. Thank Mariko's cousin Francis for driving the chase car. While Mia was doing Hello Kitty coloring book in the back. That is a very cool car seat, by the way. My family are very good sports. Remember, a lot of these scenes need to be staged to tell the story, and that cuts into real vacation time. Here's an example that was on the cutting room floor until this director's cut version. Thanks for shooting that, Robert. Ah, no problem. See you later. <laughs> okay, it's still on. All right, see you. Bye. 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 In Yosemite, we shot this from the safety of the Chevy. These people? Oh, man. Five feet away from the bear, might as well just coat them with honey and hand them over. Dumb people. Finally, check out Mariko's uncle's 68 Mercedes. I love this car. And for my birthday, Asa even let me drive it. Now that's a great present. Okay, that's what I did on my summer vacation. If you want better photography, download the first Equinox podcast. I'm Tom Volk. That's Drive.